I'm hoping the helicopter pilot approves and uh, we can get my mom up here, which would be just an awesome, awesome thing. So this is the start of the helicopter pad and uh, Alex, my son, has named it uh, Eagle's Landing. This, this, this top ridge, we call it Eagle's Ridge. So that's where we're gonna put it. And Alex has called it Eagle's Landing. So here we go, we got a bunch of work to prep it and make it level. The, I've already taken out a lot of the branches and trees that were down, but I gotta knock out some of these rocks get it level, making sure that we got enough distance away from that big boulder. And uh, we'll have to chip away at the rocks, move them, rake it, haul some dirt, get a nice safe level pad. Well, I've decided what I'm gonna do is, is a little bit of a retaining wall. And uh, there's a little bit of a hole in the middle of where I want the helicopter pad. So I'm backfilling it with rock and really packing it hard. I don't want a soft spot. And uh, I'm gonna just keep doing that. Throwing rock, building it up, get it level, see how it goes. Ugh. Gotta dig out these rocks, They're poking up. It looks sloppy at the moment, but it'll have a solid retaining wall and packed in with good foundation with lots of flat rock. Doesn't look like much, but once I put the next layer of rock, I'll have a nice solid pad for the helicopter. So it's day two, and I brought a helper. Meet Tony Chambers. Hi, Tony. Hey, guys. He's been one of my backpacking buddies for years. So I figured I'd subject him to the cabin in the sky, and he volunteered to help out with the helicopter pad, which we've been working on all afternoon. Oh man, how was it? It's about level. <laughs> A little bit of rain would help. Yeah, it was tough. It's about a 20 foot by 20 foot oval. And now we got some big rocks and some other rocks I'm gonna have to take out with, uh, I've got this dex pan. where I drill a hole, mix this expanding grout in, and uh, it's supposed to crack up the rock. So we'll see how it works, pull out the generator. Thanks for your help, Tony. Glad to be here. Well, we never got to use the dex pan. I worked like a dickens on trying to get those holes drilled. I didn't have a sharp enough bit or a strong enough hammer drill. So I'd just been using the rock bar and just going one inch at a time, busting up all the rocks. Came out pretty good. And we're using all the rocks to fill and pack everything tighter and wider and uh, I probably took three or four inches off the top of that to make it safer and uh, we'll chip away at it some more and backfill and do the final measurement here in a minute all right we're gonna do a measurement of everything we got an H down here which is what I think is going to be the best landing strip and uh, or landing pad we're gonna do measurements from that Grab the end. Go to the. We're gonna go to the rock. This is the big one. Is I'm worried about how far it is from the middle of that boulder. Yep. Maybe go to that. The midline on it. There you go. So I got 25 feet here. 
So come towards me a little bit. So we got about 28 feet from the center of the H over to the boulder. And I'll do a video of that. Now let's do the, the diameter of, of the pad. So right there. So I got 28 feet, sorry, 23 feet, which is the longest of the kind of egg shape. Then you, if you want to go to that tree trunk or the, there you go. So this is 19 feet. And so let's measure the H now, just so we have a, no, the H. Measure the letter H. There you go. So it's only an eight foot H in the middle of it. But anyway, this video is for the helicopter pilot so he can determine if, if everything's going to be good. I'll show you the outer shot. Everything's cleared out and the path should be cleared from all trees. So this is looking down on the helicopter pad. You can see where we built it up. All of that on that side is compacted with rock and sandy dirt and more rock. And even in the middle, it's got lots of rock compacted and uh, dug around. You can see, so this is east and this is southeast. And so a lot of the wind came out of the northwest. Um, and so with that in mind, the helicopter ideally would be flying in from that direction or that direction flying in pretty unobstructed. And then we took out some trees down below. I'll show you from down there what the, what the line of sight looks like, but pretty pleased how it turned out. So give you a better look of everything. We got a five foot level it went from one side to the next, and it is pretty darn level. You can see as the H is from here, line of sight is pretty unobstructed. And that's why coming from the southeast in, there is not many trees, pretty clear. Then on this side coming in, we've got the one boulder with the measurement. But then from this angle, I took out a couple of the trees and it's pretty, pretty clear from straight on. From this elevation, there's this one rock poking out right there. It's about a foot off the ground. But other than that, you can see where we knocked down all the trees. It's a pretty clear shot coming down and uh, should be pretty good. So you can see the edge here had to cut in and then over here, it drops off just a little bit. And, um, but I'm hoping the helicopter pilot approves and uh, we can get my mom up here, which would be just an awesome, awesome thing.